Hello video, um, hello YouTube, potentially, um, it's Sunday afternoon and I just woke up, and I feel like making a video about transition, but I'm not in the mood to make a video with a proper camera, um, uh, editing and stuff, maybe I will edit, because I'll probably, um, go off on tangents, you know? I don't actually have that much to say. I'm still in the same position, waiting for my tea letter. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have a moan at you, really. And it's all kind of like very self-righteous, I guess. Um, I'm just really frustrated, still waiting for this letter. Um, next week it will have been six weeks. Um, and I know it could take up to eight weeks, I guess. I just, like, got myself a bit <coughs> excited and thought that it would take four weeks. Um, and it's just kind of, like, it's so disheartening. I keep checking the post and I'll come back at, like, 12 p.m., no, 12 a.m. at night and still be checking the post, even though, logically, the post isn't going to be there. And... I don't know. I'm just so tired of waiting. I can't, like... This is just gonna be a really whiny video. Because I just want... I just want to start, I feel like... I feel like I'm waiting for my life to begin. Which is ridiculous, because my life began when I was born. And then... I guess, like, it's not like my life began again when I transitioned, it's just like, my life began on a better level. And I mean, it does make me feel a bit happier, like, knowing it's coming. Like, if I get misgendered or something, I'll just think, oh, well, I'll be on tea soon, it'll be okay. But, I've just been thinking that so much, oh I'll be on T soon, it'll be okay, I'll be on T soon, it'll be okay, I won't have to worry about this stuff, I won't have to be mad at people, it's not people's fault when they misgender me, people don't mean to be ignorant, uh, <laughs> I'm just getting tired of this whole situation, so there's that, I'm, I'm tired and I'm frustrated with waiting for hormones, like, it's just going on forever. Um, no shit. <laughs> it's not like I decided to transition and I thought, oh, I'm going to be on tea, like, within five weeks. Like, I never thought that. It took me an entire year to get a referral. Um, and then I waited two years to get a first appointment. Um, and then on my first appointment I fucked it up and didn't hand in my thing for my next appointment, so... The next appointment was way later than it would have been, but that was good. I needed that time, because I didn't know if I wanted hormones, and now I do. Um, so I guess it worked out for me. It just takes so long. Um, I realised I was trans when I was 17. Um, so that was like five years ago. Um... I don't know. I guess I'm just saying all this because I feel guilty. I feel guilty that that I'm all frustrated about my transition when I know there's other people out there who've got so much more waiting to do and there's people out there who might not be able to transition and there's people out there who are in situations where they can't go through the NHS or whatever. So I feel like really bad that I complain when I'm in a much better situation than other people but also like I have the right to complain about my life everyone has the right to complain about their life like I'm not gonna get hormones and then complain oh it took so long to get them I'm not gonna go on and on and on I'm gonna be like right I've got hormones let's get on with this let's finally get on with this and 
it's all gonna be cool. Like, it's probably not all gonna be cool. It's probably gonna be all over the fucking place. I mean, I'm starting third year of university on Monday, which is, like, erratic as it is. Like, I mean, I'm erratic as it is with my mental health. And, hey, I'm starting hormones. It's gonna be, like, what are those things? Um, party poppers. They use it, like, New Year or something, and they explode. It's gonna be like that. Um, I hope that made sense because like they're exciting and they're pretty but they also make a big noise and not everyone likes them <laughs> if that makes sense I hope that that makes sense I mean I know I'm gonna be on tea in like at least a month I'm always just saying oh it's just another month just waiting another month like it just feels like it's not gonna happen like what if they haven't even written the letter yet? What if they've forgotten about it? They do that all the time. Um, I should really ring my GP up, or I should ring Charing Cross up, but I have really bad anxiety about using the phone. It's not that like I'm just lazy and like can't be asked. It's like I get so anxious on the phone because there's always someone at the end of the phone just being unnecessarily unpleasant and it's happened that many times that I just associate phone calls with people being nasty so yeah that was a rant um I'm definitely getting misgendered more with this hair but I like this hair and even though there's the sort of green in it you can't tell on the camera oh <laughs> see how bad it looks when I do that but um you can't tell, but there's green in it, and I still like it. And it's nice to like my hair colour, um, and not feel dysphoric about it. I don't feel dysphoric when I look in the mirror at it. Um, sometimes I feel dysphoric when I walk past my reflection in like a window, but I just have to ignore that. I can't get hung up on that. It affects me, but I can deal with it. Um, <sighs> yesterday... I got the tea slur shouted at me. Um, that's the only time, the second time that anyone's ever shouted that word at me. Um, and I don't know. I guess it's misdirected trans misogyny, so. just like I don't understand who even does that who even shouts slurs like come on what are you getting out of that um I don't really think I have anything more to add to the discussion um I went out in Canal Street for the first time in months and Oh my god, I didn't have anybody be transphobic to me for the whole night. Wow. Shit the bed. Like, legitimately. That's the first time that's happened in years. I mean, I didn't use the toilet. So maybe that's why. I hate, I hate it. I wish they just all had gender neutral toilets. I hate men's toilets. I can't go in women's toilets. I've been in a gender neutral toilet before and a woman saw me and she was like, what the fuck are you doing in here? And that just made me really think I cannot. I can't just use women's toilets. But you know when it's like the choice between do I piss myself or do I use the toilet? Sometimes you just gotta use the toilet regardless of what the toilet is. But it's like, I just feel like people that aren't trans just don't understand that and they just they're not very helpful um not everyone that isn't trans just some people that aren't trans don't understand how difficult toilets are um I think that's about it I feel more confident with wearing clothes that I want to wear so that's nice um and I guess maybe that will happen as I transition as I transition uh as I take tea up tea for longer that was a really I don't know I've got like 
shit loads of facial hair going on, but you can't see it on the camera. Um, I'm just fucking ready. Oh my god, I'm just fucking ready. <laughs> just give me tea. I've noticed that this is ten minutes long, and I I don't have it in me to edit today. I'm sorry. Um. Also, I'm not wearing a binder, and I'm wearing no trousers, so yay, vlogging in my underwear. This is a new thing. Um, hopefully next time I make a video, I will be on testosterone, or I will at least have my tea letter and be waiting, if that makes sense. Bye.